Hey guys, so it's gonna be an update on my new prized gun. It's a GHK AKS 74U, or other known as the Crink. Um, externally, not much has changed. Um, I got a surplus bake light grip. I did some scuffing up with the Scotch Bright pad to sort of weather it. Um, I also took a propane torch. I just burned the wood a little bit around here, made it look like uh, this wood has been burned through by a bunch of mag dumps. Um, and then I got the booster almost red hot to create sort of a discolored, burnt metal look to it. Just sort of weathering it, sort of dinging it up. Try not to make it look nice and new and pretty, just used and beat up. Not too beat up, but like it has some age to it. Internally, it's still WNS full travel kit. Um, so WNS bolt, WNS hammer, WNS uh, recoil spring and guide rod. Um, then I have the Hephaestus type B selector, Hephaestus firing pin, sear and auto sear. And one of the newer mods is a WNS rapid fire spring kit thing. So basically, originally back here where that silver part is, there's just a rubber pad. This threads into that hole. It's a little spring perch and spring, um, but usually it sticks out to about here. So what I did was I took that spring perch I filed it and cut it down, and I cut down the spring a little bit, so that way the bolt comes all the way back. Well, not all the way, but a lot further back, so I can still use the bolt hold open. Before, before that, let me just close this up real quick. Before that, that spring system, the rapid fire kit, would only let the bolt come back to about here, which is how it would stock. And to be honest, if you have a WNS full travel kit, you want full travel. I, I can understand why you would want to put that rapid fire kit in there. It does help boost the snappiness on semi and the rate of fire on full auto. But your bolt comes, comes only comes back to about here. So you're still missing a good amount of full travel. Um, Plus, I still want to retain the bolt hold open function. So, I was doing a little cutting, modifying, till it fit. So, compared to how the rapid fire kit fires normally, without any of the modifications I did, it does really boost the rate of fire significantly. Um, the way I have it now, you do notice a little bit of drop off in the rate of fire. But your rate of fire is still higher than what it is with just the rubber stop. So it's a good middle ground between a full-blown, full travel without the spring and then having the rapid fire kit stock. So for me personally, that's a, sort of a win-win for me. I still have more bolt travel allowing me to lock it open and also just having full bolt travel, which feels awesome but I still get the boost of rate of fire, which was lacking on a stock WNS full travel kit. Um, <clears throat> all that is now coupled with CO2 mag. Um, I did have the HP drum mag. Uh, I gave it back to my friend because to be honest, with such a small gun like this, if I'm running this, I wanna be able to rush up fast. I wanna be able to play a little more aggressively and having an HPA tank and a plate carrier on and everything for this style of weapon just didn't really fit me so with this style of weapon I probably just gonna run a battle belt maybe a lightweight vest like a load bearing vest but not like a plate carrier just a small mesh vest um, so I got CO2 well I didn't get CO2 mags these are green gas mags which have been devil hunter modded which basically you modify the magazine to take CO2 out of a like a bottle, so like a soda stream bottle, 
paint bowl, CO2 tank, um, some similar to that. Um, for these mags, the 545 mags, the only thing I had to do to Devil Hunter mod this was actually replace the output valve. The output valve there is now a CO2 output valve. Uh, I didn't change the input valve and I didn't do any thread tape or PTFE tape to the bottom uh, bolts. So I guess I get lucky. Um, I know my friends GHKM4, when we did his Devil Hunter mod, we had to replace obviously the output valve. We also had to replace the input valve and we had to thread tape the bottom bolts. So for me, all I had to do was one step. For him, we had to do like four. <laughs> so I got lucky. So these have been holding up really well. The CO2 really adds to the kick and it actually adds to the rate of fire. So not only is the rate of fire faster with the WNS uh, rapid fire spring set, it's also faster with the CO2. So pretty much everything I've done has just only increased rate of fire and recoil compared to, um, I guess, stock. Um, stock, you have pretty decent rate of fire, but you don't have as much recoil because it's a half blowback with the original bolt and everything. When you swap out the bolt for WNS, WNS uh, full travel kit, then you lose a lot of the rate of fire because, well, it's a full travel going on a gas mag made for not a full travel. So you up the recoil and the realism, but now you just lost rate of fire. Then you add CO2. CO2 definitely bumps it up. And then you add the WNS spring set. And if you do the modifications I did, you still get the full travel goodness. And you still bo boost up the rate of fire as well. So basically this gun is the hardest kicking one I have. And I still have a decent rate of fire where on semi, I can still do really quick snappy follow-up shots so um, maybe soon I'll do a shooting video um, but for now it's a little too late don't want to piss off my neighbors because this thing is loud especially on co2 but this is by far one of my favorite guns to shoot or use as well um, it's still very fieldable um, oh side note I did replace the hop-up unit with a TNT hop-up unit and inner barrel and bucking um, just because the stock plastic one um, it broke uh, I want to say it's because of the cold weather and it being plastic but possibly it's just because I have a full travel kit in there and plus it's a stock plastic hop-up unit but for my first game when I used the gun the stock hop-up unit was just perfectly fine um, the last time I used it, it actually was pretty cold, so it could have been that. But let bygones be bygones. I now have a TNT hop up in there, so we'll see how that affects accuracy. It has a you know tight bore in there. It's a machine metal hop up and upgraded bucking, I guess you can consider. So we'll see if that helps it out. You know, it being such a short barrel itself. Um, I'm not looking for amazing amazing accuracy out to 200 feet. I'm happy with decent accuracy at 100 feet. So that that upgrade was mainly just for durability and feeding, which it has been holding up really well. So we'll see. Um, hopefully, it should be playing in a week or two. Um, and then I'll maybe shoot some video of it firing um, and upload that.